Anyway, the point is here that the summarization, external summarization, again, let's go ahead and go back to the key points here. We looked at OSPF external route summarization. The key points are that it is performed on the autonomous system boundary router. And what we did to simulate, you know, routes coming in as external is we just redistributed connected on router 1 and 4. And that brought in the loopbacks into the OSPF routing domain as external type 2s. Then what we did was we create we went under the the process, the OSPF process. So on router 4, if we do a do show run pipe to begin OSPF, we went under the OSPF process on the router. And we did the summary address command with our network and our subnet mask. And then we went ahead in and we verified that we were seeing both on router 1 and 4 each other's summary addresses. So on router 1 we saw router 4 summary for the 40 networks and then on router 4 we saw router 1's again on router 4 here we saw router 1's summary the slash 20 I'm sorry not slash 20 the slash 22 here for the four networks up here the four slash 24's that were advertised on router 1 again we had reachability on both routers and we're able to ping to the more specific networks. So again, that's pretty much it. What we saw in router 1 and 4 is that we saw that any of the more specific routes, I'm sorry, on router 1 and 4, we saw that they were suppressed. So in this case, router 4 only saw the 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 network slash 22 so it only saw that and all the more specific routes were suppressed again on router 1 when we did a show IP route we saw only the 40.0.0.0 .0 network coming in as a slash 21 so the more specific route which was the 5 network slash 24 was being suppressed so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll be with me with the next one. Thanks.